guys, Spartan117GW here, and today we're going to be talking about the PDRC. Um, this is basically essentially a prototype gun, um, a multiple caliber prototype gun that was never really made. Uh, it was really originally developed by uh, Magpul Industries, uh, and uh, they actually showed this gun off for the first time. I believe it was Shot Show 2012, maybe 2011. It was one of those two. It was a couple years ago. Uh, but you know, it's it's actually been on the market for a little while. But that's what we're going to take a look at. It's a pretty cool gun, and as you can see, uh, one of my favorite features about it is that it's a bullpup PDW. <laughs> it's a bullpup PDW that takes your your M4 mags, which is pretty awesome because it kind of sucks to have to get a new gun, get a whole bunch of new mags. Now, a couple stats about it: it shoots about 350 FPS, so it's actually very so you can be friendly, which definitely makes sense do the profile of the gun um, and, and typically I usually use like 0.25s maybe 0.28s if I'm using this outdoors um, it uses a you know typically a 7.4 volt battery um, lipo battery uh, that's typically what I use um, we're still waiting to get the extended grips in um, they're out there but we just basically need to get those things in because I know there's a lot of users out there because uh, one of the big things that um, you know a lot of users have been um, saying is that you know when you when you grip the gun I mean because I have small hands so for me it's not too bad if you're kind of a bigger guy maybe one maybe two of your fingers might be falling off the grip it's one of the reasons why I'm pushing to get the uh, the extra extended grips into the country so all you PDR users and or guys who potentially want to buy them and put bigger batteries in there can do so because that actually would be a pretty cool feature to add to this uh, this gun but just going up over some of the external features you can see bullpup configuration there is no safety, it's more or less kind of like a, like a Glock. We have the a trigger, or an, or an MMP, where the trigger is basically a half squeeze is semi, a full squeeze is auto, you know, basically, more or less. Uh, and what it does is it kind of gives you that, that really quick uh, twitch functionality, I guess you can see. You don't have to really worry about a safety selector. So if you're used to using something like an MNP or a Glock, it's going to feel like second nature to you. And uh, that kind of uh, feature is also found in you know guns like the AUG or uh, I'm trying to remember P90 per se. No, well, P P90 actually has. Uh, yeah, it's uh, actually actually P9 does have a, a two-stage trigger like that as well, which is pretty cool. Um, as you can see, even though it doesn't really do a whole lot, it's actually kind of a cool aesthetic that the detail is there. You have a uh, switchable uh, ejection port essentially for lefties and righties. Uh, you know, obviously because the airsoft gun doesn't, you know, there's nothing coming out of it, but it's a pretty cool feature and it's pretty awesome that they actually um, incorporated that those details it's it's all about the little things it's all about the details when it comes to you know guns and all the things that we like as you can see up here what we got is the mag release which is pretty cool um you actually can activate it from both sides of the gun um it's funny in battlefield you actually see the guy activate it like with his thumb or something like that but you can really just activate it with your uh, your pointer finger more or less or from fire control uh, which is pretty nice because it kind of keeps that M4 style muscle memory, at least with the uh, that portion of the mag change. But of course, you're kind of working a couple different mechanics once you go back to the bullpup back here. And as you can see, you have the charging handle up here. It doesn't stick out too much, so it's pretty low pro. Very similar to something you'd see on like the P90, for instance. Actually, as you can see, the profile of the gun, very similar to that. Uh, it does have kind of a, I guess you could say, a vertical grip. It's like a curved grip, more or less, that's built into the gun. Pretty cool. Uh, some, you know, some people have different opinions about the shape. Uh, for me, I kind of like having straight vertical grips, so it's not my favorite feature of the gun, but it is pretty cool. Um, the fact that it just has something like that. Uh, built into the gun although I would say it would be cool to have like a lower body kit that does have rails on it. but who knows <clears throat> on the gun itself I put MBUS uh, two sights on the front and rear and I have AX micro red dot in here just because when it comes to optics on this gun you really don't want to put too much on it it's gonna weigh down the gun because this is a very I guess you could say run friendly gun you can literally just take off running because it's so light and it's so compact and so slim you can literally move really fast and engage and you can even engage you know with one hand if you're holding on to something or you're coming around a corner or something like that it's very light very pointable because all the weight is right here more or less most of the weight is right here so it makes it very pointable and that's one of the big advantages of bullpup guns and having a gun that's really pointable in a CQB configuration that's pretty cool to be honest and that's one of the great things that this that makes this gun so unique 
as you can see, when it comes to mags, um, right now I have the EP mag, it's actually the prototype. Uh, these are actually supposed to be, as of, as of now, in production. Uh, but when it comes to mags, my recommended mag is the M2 style P mag. A couple other mags may or may not work out there. I noticed that P mags tend to work the best, obviously, uh, because you know, that's what we tested with PTS products. Uh, but when it comes to mags, uh, certain mags work better than others. I believe, I'm trying to remember if the mag mags work as well as, uh, as well too. But I typically will use M2 style, you know, P mags or the new mags when they come out. They, they basically, you know, they fit just fine. They lock into place and they feed, you know, more or less perfectly. So you really ain't gonna have to worry about it. Uh, if you don't have P mags, I'll look into a little bit more to see what other mags will work with it. But the high caps, I know, certain high caps should work with it as well, like the, the big fat mag or some other, thing, some other mags out there. I, I believe I've used with this gun before. Uh, so definitely a lot of cool features on this gun. As you can see, it's just such a slim profile and such a unique gun. And it's cool, it's become more prominent just because it's been featured in video games like Battlefield. Um, you know, and because it's a bulb up configuration, I actually put in a extended Prometheus barrel in here, which is why I have the uh, Gemtech suppressor on here. It literally is, it's about like a 10 inch, 11 inch, 12 inch, you know, barrel that I've essentially put in this gun. But it's, it's, it's essentially has, I mean, for some people with stubby M4s, it's got a longer barrel than that. So you're gonna get some decent range and accuracy out of this thing. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, to get to the hop of unit, uh, all you do is you put this, uh, push this little button, lift up this little, uh, I guess you could say cheek rest more or less, and inside there is a little dial that allows you to adjust the hop up. I believe right is more hop up and uh, counterclockwise is less hop up. I, I, gotta, I gotta double check, but it is a pretty cool feature. The fact that it's kind of stowed in there, it's in a nice you know, position and I'm glad they were able to uh, integrate it without making it too, too difficult. Um, it's because it's actually pretty easy to get to. It's a big enough space. Even if you have gloves, you should be able to get your finger in there and manipulate it. But overall, really cool gun. Um, there's a couple other YouTubers out there who've done really great videos on this gun, like Level Cap. He's got some great gameplay on here, really showcasing it on the kind of field you want to use this on, which is kind of like a medium range or close range field. Um, definitely a really cool gun. And like I said, I'm hoping to get the extended grips in the country. They're out there. We just got to get them in for you PDR users or you potential buyers who want to buy the PDR. But you know, definitely, like I said, if you have bigger hands, you definitely want a little bit more real estate to grip the gun. But really cool overall. One of my favorite guns is my Arsenal. Uh, I really only take it out to the CQB fields, more or less, because it's pretty much what it's tailored to. Uh, but definitely one of my favorite guns in the armory. One of the more unique guns as well, and it's also a video game gun, which just always helps. Make sure you guys check out um, Levelcast's video, and make sure you guys uh, hit your local retailer, see if they picked up this gun. If they're a PTS Syndicate uh, authorized dealer, they should have this. Um, retails for about... From what I've seen, they were about 380. Sometimes it's a little bit higher. A lot of it has to do with high quality DuPont, uh, DuPont polymer that they use on these guns. Cause it's really, I mean, it's really sturdy. It's really high quality. So make sure you guys check it out. Um, the uh, PDRC, you can get at you know, Airsoft GI, AEX. You know, all, all those are uh, great retailers out there and uh, definitely a cool looking gun. So thank you guys for watching. Um, this is another episode of The Armory. See you guys next time. Make sure you guys check it out. Thanks for watching. Elite Force BB, that's what's in my mag. Thanks for watching.